Hi there everyone, I wanted to do a little quick video um, about my Aria 40 inch uh, TV that I had, um, which as you can see is dismantled. Um, and actually the exact model is an EQ4088P. Um, I brought it about five months ago um, and it worked great up until five, about, about now. Um, which is, uh, from what I've been reading in the reviews, uh, tends to be a common problem with these TVs. Um, and I found the fault to actually be the power supply board, which I have right here. Um, and I took it apart and I, you know, checked out the board, see if I could find anything wrong with it. And it turns out the transformer right here stopped working. Um, the, the other smaller transformer right here was putting out like half a volt. Um, and what I believe happened is it actually had a static discharge inside of the TV, um, which is what killed it. Um, which is interesting, um, and I was trying to figure out, you know, why it, the TV wasn't okay after that, um, considering the charge came from itself. And I noticed that there's a ground uh, right here on the power supply board, and this was not actually connected to anything, you know, metal that would ground it out. Um, if you look here in the TV, you'll see I, I added this, this wire here, um, but it was just going into plastic, this plastic backing. So, um, I bought this power supply off eBay for about 50 bucks, um, and uh, I'll have to try it out. It seems to make a little bit of a, a slight buzzing sound um, with the back cover off, but to be honest, I, I you know might not have. This one could have done that as well, and I would have never known. Um, so uh, we'll see how it goes. And I have a lot of hours on this TV in those five months. I've put a lot of hours on it, um, so I would definitely say. Um, give this a try. All this is is uh, this wire I actually got out of an old uh, electrical cable. In fact, I have that right here. Um, you know, your standard, you know, PC electrical cable. In fact, it's the same cable that goes into this TV. Um, and just cut it, took one of the uh, one of the three wires out of there, just ripped it out, and then uh, added one of these little standard connectors on there, which you can pretty much pick up in any hardware store. Um, threw it back together, and uh, as you can see, um, see that little red light. That's the uh, the power light. <laughs> Tell you that it has it has power. So let me flip it up here. And turn it on. Show you. I uh, was able to fix it. And there you have it. Um, so, you know, if you have one of these TVs, uh, any uh, any one of them, um, you should be able to find the, hopefully, the power supply uh, online if, it, if you have the same problem. Um, I diagnosed the problem basically as if the little little light that's in the corner, which is green now because the TV's on, um, if that doesn't come on at all when the TV's off, then it's most likely the power supply. Um, and it's definitely a, a good TV. Uh, I paid three fifty for this, for this TV. And... Um, it turns out, oddly enough, it is a Samsung screen, um, which you actually can't quite see, but that says Samsung right there. Um, so, you know, very nice screen. The input board's a little eh. I mean, the VGA and the component and the HDMI are all good. It's the regular standard composite in. Um, and the, of course, the uh, TV jack is, is pretty crappy. I, I really, I avoid using those. Um, I'm not sure about S-Video, but I'm sure you'll have similar results as the regular composite in on this TV. Um, and it's fast enough uh, to use, you know, playing video games and whatnot. The, the, um, the input lag is decent. The response time is pretty good. Um, I'd say it's below 200 milliseconds. Um... And, uh, or at least for, as far as the input lag goes, I'm not sure. The response time it claims is 5 milliseconds, but uh, I don't really have any way to, to confirm that. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy to take apart. Um, hopefully if I have a chance, I'll throw together a quick video of how to take it apart. Um, but I'll, I'll go over it briefly now. All you pretty much got to do is if you look at the back of your TV. Um, here's the back case, sorry. Sorry about the bad lighting. Um, let me see if I can get some better light on this. All right, so here, if you're, if you're looking at the back of your TV, um, you have several of these screw holes. There's another one right there, one up here, and they go all the way around the TV. And then you also have your the screw holes for the mount that goes on the bottom of the TV, the stand. Um, so you're gonna wanna take those out first. 
then go all the way around, unscrew all those, and then you'll see right here, there's one here, one here, 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 and here. And you just unscrew that, the back cover just kind of slides right off real nice and easy. Um, and then if we go back over to the power supply here, this is uh, pretty easy to take out. All you're gonna do is, there are four screws in the corner, one, two, uh, three, and then four right there. Um, and then you got these wires. Be uh, be a little gentle with them. They're kind of a little bit a little bit flimsy. So you know when you pull them, make sure you get a, a good grip on the base of them. Um, and they will just pop out. And then you've got your power wire right here, which has a little clip on it, right on the back there. So you just push that in, and it should slide right up. Um, on the new board, it doesn't seem to want to clip in. Um, and I added this uh, wire tie here when I put this wire in for the ground, which goes into the same ground mounting hole. For the uh, for the AC, um, and then uh, you got your regular, of course, the power cable wire, which uh, it's come stock zip tied here. I cut it off because um, I wasn't sure if this wire itself was working, but it was okay, and the and the switch was okay as well. Um, just make sure you have it unplugged when you uh, when you go and do that, and uh, you should hopefully get your TV back and working for. It's about fifty dollars to buy one off eBay, and you can probably you know, maybe find one for cheaper. Um, and the power supply you're actually going to want to look for is, I don't know if you can actually see that, but it says it's an MLT668TL-V. The revision that came in mind was revision 1.1, and you can find that, I'll actually use this power, power supply, the uh, broken one, you can find that revision number um, underneath here. So if you're looking at the board here, and your plug input's right here, it's underneath, there's a black little plate right here, it's underneath there, and uh, you'll see it says Rev 1.1 uh, or whatever the revision is, um, and it is made by Megmeet, um, you can check out their website, I believe it's megmeet.com um, to find more information out on this. So that's it, um, definitely check it out, give it, a, give it a shot if you have one of these, because it costs more to ship the TV in for repair. And it's pretty easy. Pretty much anyone can do it, and anyone can make that wire with you know a couple of a couple of bucks, um, you know, at your hardware store. If you don't have even if you don't have wire on these ends, you can pick them up, um, and you should be hopefully good to go and get many more hours. Uh, if I run into any other problems, uh, and after five months, I'll post another video and let you know if it still works. All right? Post any comments or questions uh, down below. I'll be glad to answer them. All right, and there you have it. There is it. Uh, all hooked back up and working now. So. Uh, Hopefully this will be helpful to, to any of you out there who have one of these uh, these TVs because I honestly think that they're a decent TV for what you pay and hopefully that little uh, that little modification with the ground wire should hopefully prevent that from uh, from dying in the future um, through static discharge. So uh, yeah, if anyone else uh, buys the power supply, gets it done, fixes theirs, I'm sure it will work for any other number of Aria TVs. Um, then uh, by all means, let me know. I'd be interested to hear if anyone else has uh, has good luck with it. All right. Thanks for watching.